Good day, class. I'm Sir Ferdinand Bernardes, your software engineering course instructor. For the first week of this course, we will discuss about the fundamental concepts that will help you appreciate more about software development and will help you understand how they should be developed. So, what is software? Based on the new software engineering book written by Sue Conger in 2008, the software is the sequence of instructions in one or more programming languages that comprise a computer application to automate some business function. Software bears different meanings for different types of people. First, software is a computer program that provides instructions and data to execute a user's commands. Second, Software is a piece of descriptive information in both hard copy and virtual forms that describes the operation and use of the programs. Third and the last, software is a data structure that enables the programs to adequately manipulate information. While all of these are true, there are some definitions that is more relevant to you as a future software engineer. Today, software is extremely used in several industries like hospitals, banks, schools, military defense, business and finance, stock markets, and more. In fact, the software takes on a dual role. It is a product and at the same time, the vehicle for delivering a product. When we say software as a product, it delivers the computing potential embodied by computer hardware such as a computer, a phone, a smartwatch, calculator, and many other software-enabled hardware products. Lastly, software as the vehicle used to deliver the product. Software is used as the medium for delivery of products such as in operating systems who control of the computer, network operating systems to manage communication over networks, applications that are used to deliver services like Grab Food, Grab, Food, food Panda, and etc. More importantly, software delivers the most important product of our time, which is the information. By making information available, Organizations can make timely decisions and companies become more competitive. One characteristic that differentiates software from the other products is that software does not wear out. This is primarily because software is more of a logical element than physical, such as a hardware. The figure shown depicts the failure rate of hardware as a function of time. We see that hardware generally has a high failure rate early in its life. This failure is attributed to poor design or manufacturing defects. In time, these defects get corrected but over time and while being used hardware tends to wear out. This is because over time, the hardware is exposed to extreme environment conditions such as temperatures, accumulation of dust, rusting, and other forms or of hardware abuse brought by normal to extreme usage. So that's why software doesn't wear out like hardware do. However, instead of wearing out, software can deteriorate. By deteriorate, we mean that over some time, software can become progressively worse. Ideally, software will have a high failure rate that can be attributed to poor design or coding practices, just as the hardware would. These errors are fixed and should work just fine without wearing out. This is not the case. By the time when users are comfortable with the fixes and should very well become stable, 
new requirements come up. The new requirements can spring from changes in the business operations, market demands, technology innovations, government mandates, or new organization directions. Change is inevitable and the software needs to cope. That's why in software engineering, if we will develop a software, we need to make sure that the software is flexible and can adopt to changes. These changes cause the software curve to spike again. New user requirements emerge over time because humanity is unpredictable. Any cycle of spikes continues until the software is ultimately replaced with something else. This illustration of software says a lot about the life cycle of a software, which I would like to emphasize to your class. By understanding software this way, we realize that a, as a software engineers in the future, our work is not yet done, as always. So in our next topic, I will discuss about the types of software.